this is an election year, so we should all anticipate some negative ads. However, you, the citizens, deserve the truth. My opponents are putting out erroneous information, which are straight out plain lies. You, the citizens, deserve better. So I will take each and every point expressed through their negative ads and give you the true facts. Citizens, please realize individuals who campaign on lies will also govern on lies. Let's talk about contracts. The city manager is not appointed to work for the mayor. The city manager was appointed by a vote of the council to conduct the daily operations of the city. This includes approving big and small contracts. Fact, this administration has saved $1.5 million by eliminating and renegotiating contracts. All of the contracts mentioned by my opponents are for public relations in an effort to increase transparency so that you, the citizens, can see your government at work. It is necessary to have a photographer, a videographer, and a media spokesperson a public relations team. Fact, this public relations team works on behalf of the entire city of East St. Louis and not just for the mayor. The team conducts live broadcasts of council meetings and town hall meetings. They also draft newspaper articles, create press releases, and respond to media requests. In order to keep you fully informed, during this age of information, a public relations staff is needed. As a matter of fact, the contracts in question are contracts which were established within the entirety of my four-year term, $49,000 over four years, in comparison to saving $1.5 million in contracts. That's not a comparison. Let's talk about the salary of the city manager. Fact, the current city manager makes the same salary as all of the previous city managers. There's been no secret raise for this city manager and her salary has nothing to do with the police and fire pension. Fact, this administration has increased the contributions to police and fire pensions paying more than any other administration. Now, what about clean sweep? This is the most disturbing of all of the misrepresentations because this misrepresentation took something that was good and positive for our city and, create, and created negativity and confusion. My opponents don't have a record on which to run. Consequently, they are raising and spending thousands and thousands of dollars to smear the good work that my administration and major companies did to rid the city of derelict properties and weeded areas. These companies assisted us at no cost to the city. We should be rewarding their goodwill instead of tarnishing their reputation. Fact, there was no illegal dumping for the clean sweep. The city paid $18,000 to dispose of the trash and debris created from the clean sweep and deposited into the landfill. The clean sweep occurred on Saturday. All trash and debris were temporarily deposited at an enclosed city property used by Public Works for the sole purposes of dumping and removed to the landfill on Monday, immediately following the Saturday sweep. We plan to continue and increase the clean sweep operation next year. Let us not run our support away. Fact. Through a partnership with the EPA, the city collected debris and the EPA removed 162.72 tons of used tires from the city. What about the Broadview Hotel? The developer paid the IDA application fee, not the mayor. The property is zoned properly and the developer presented the project to the Planning Commission once and to the City Council twice. And last but not least, the mayor's car. This is another pure fabrication. I use my car less than any other previous mayor. I drive my personal vehicle to, to City Hall and back. 
I only use the city vehicle for city business. And sometimes I use my personal vehicle for city business. Also, the city vehicle was totaled while parked. Fact, prior to my administration, the city had liability insurance. This left the city vulnerable every time there was an accident. Now, the city's vehicles have full coverage, so no accident impacts the city budget. The state of our city is too fragile to be distracted by slanderous, deceptive lies. It is an injustice to you, our citizens, for others to continue to manipulate and deceive you for selfish gain. I appeal to you, during this season and any other season, conduct your due diligence to make sure you are not being fed lies in order for others to gain your support. We are transparent and, and our records are open. If I were you, I would be angry that people assume that you will not check out the facts for yourselves. My administration plans to continue working on behalf of the entire community of East St. Louis, Illinois. It is my request that the citizens would just continue to educate themselves by attending the council and committee meetings so that you can know for yourself.